thanks to the Pythagorean identity, if you have information about the sine or the cosine of an angle, you can get information about the other trigonometric function. However, you can't necessarily find it. For example, suppose we tell you that the sine of x equals one half. What can we say about the cosine of x? Well, we can say that the sine squared plus the cosine squared equals one. So if the sine is one half, one half squared, plus the cosine squared equals one. This is one fourth. Subtract one fourth from both sides. And the cosine squared equals three fourths. Now, the reason I say you can't necessarily find the other trig function is that this equality has two solutions. The cosine could be the positive or negative square root of three fourths, which I'll simplify as the square root of three over two. And that's because remember that the sine is a y coordinate. Here's the unit circle. If I tell you that the y coordinate is one half, there are two points with one half as their y coordinate. And of course, these two points have different x coordinates. On the other hand, suppose I tell you that the sine of pi divided by six is one half. And I ask for information about the cosine. Pi divided by six is in the first quadrant. Remember that this is pi divided by two. So pi divided by six is less than that. This would be a greater than pi over two. So of the two points, this must be the one we're looking at. The cosine of this point is positive because this point has an x coordinate here in the first quadrant. And I can say that the cosine of pi over six must therefore be the positive square root of three over two. 